100 days ago, a fleet of ships filled with pillagers set off for an expedition into the Antarctic. But after their captain went missing, their ships suddenly got stuck in the ice, and now they had no choice but to split up and jump overboard to try and survive on the ice plains of the Antarctic. My goal here was to try and survive for 100 days, build my own ice kingdom, whilst trying to locate and take down the pillagers' captain that came here to steal this continent's most valuable resource, Platinum. This adventure was so much fun, so if you enjoy, remember to subscribe to the channel. And let's get into my journey that started on day one, when I spawned in the middle of the Antarctic. Okay, what is the surroundings looking like? There is a polar bear already. Is he coming at me? He's coming- Oh, I'm gonna walk away. There were polar bears all around me. As I climbed one of the glaciers, I spotted a huge fort in the distance. From here, I could see pillagers on guard. And as I continued to scan the ice, one of those guards spotted me and ran towards me. With no food or weapons, I ran into the ice maze and escaped from him. Okay, I'm just gonna scale this glacier right here. I don't think he's following me anymore. I can't see him, so I'm just gonna make this jump here. There we go. Alright, there's a there's like a campsite over there of some sort. Might want to head over to that. Um, oh, there's another guard. I continued to explore and spotted an old camp. No loot was inside, so I carried on searching. I saw the pillager from before, so headed off into the distance before he found me. And as I was running, I found a few more of these camps. Finally, I was able to get some fish and leather. As I approached another camp, out of nowhere, a polar bear attack. Okay, I'm sorry. No, he's, he's quick. I don't know. What's in these barrels? Nothing, nothing. Oh, he's still coming. I gotta run. This polar bear wanted me dead. I had to escape. Quick, just keep running. Is he still chasing? Yep, okay, he's still coming. I need to find a way out of here because he's not going to stop. What can I get up here? What's through? Oh, there's another pole. Okay, I'm climbing. I'm climbing. Break the snow, break the snow, break the snow. Oh, no. Okay, I think I'm safe. Can I just make the jump on here? All right. He can't hit me. I'm just going to climb up here. I should be able to get away. Oh, my. He, he wanted me dead. Oh, I'm at the campsite. In a land like this, there is very little food, and these polar bears are desperate to eat whatever they can. So if I want to survive for 100 days, I would have to be more careful. But for now, I was safe, and this little camp had a lot to offer. I got some more fish and even got a bed. But there was a staircase going down that I wanted to check out. What is down here? This, there's a lot of wood here that I'll be able to use. What's... Oh! Oh! Okay. I do not want to go in there. I'm, oh, okay, no, yeah, definitely not. I'm on five hearts. I can't risk that. I was already low on health, so instead of trying to kill the pillager on the other side of the door, I grabbed up some wood, slept off the night, and made some tools. As day two started, I spotted a rock in the distance, a perfect place for me to grab some stone, since below the surface here, there isn't much going on. I scaled down the glacier and made my way over. I got 22 pieces and then headed back to the shelter. I made my first weapon and then started taking down the pillagers on the other side of this door. Okay, oh, right. They're definitely, I think I can only see two of them. Okay, there goes one. Come on, how many more hits until this guy's dead? Boom, okay. Is the coast clear? Yes. Okay, this place is cool. Some emeralds here, I'll grab those up. What else we got through here? No more pillagers? No, okay, the coast looks clear. Some leather, fish, more food is nice. Even more food, okay. Oh, carrots and, and leather armor. I'm gonna grab all of this, it's great. This was a storage room filled with food and armor. After clearing all of the barrels, I made myself a furnace to cook up my food and finally heal up. Right, let's get some carrots eaten. Finally heal up. I can hear, I think some villagers, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they're behind this door though. Let's just heal up and, oh no, no, that's another pillar. Wait, what? Oh, this guy isn't hostile. He's holding bread instead of a crossbow. Oh, okay. We've got quite a lot of food here. Hay bales. What's in the chest? Oh, nice. Okay, more food and boots. Let's just grab up all of these hay bales. These are going to be useful because it's, it's going to be hard to get food here. I won't lie. What's through? Is he hostile? I don't... Oh, yeah. Okay. No, he's got a sword. We do not want to go anywhere near him. Hey, okay, right, he's dead. What's this? A poison blade? This guy dropped a poison blade. This weapon will help me defend myself so much better than a stone axe. 
So after checking up the rest of the rooms, I gathered up all of the useful resources, and then, just as I was about to leave, I spotted a secret room behind a trap door. I see these trap doors go to somewhere. That one goes to another room. What? What's the... There's a chest back there. What is going on? Just mine through. Oh, there's a there's a whole room. Okay. It's like TNT and stuff. Oh, that's a lot of iron. This room was filled with the pillagers' riches. Iron, gold, and emeralds. But my inventory was already filled with loot, and I didn't want to leave anything behind. So I saved the location of this place and then left. It was time to make myself a house. As I looked around, I spotted an ice dome in the distance. It looked perfect for me to hollow out and turn into my own igloo. So I walked over, carved this place out, made a floor, and then placed some chests for me to store my loot. Now that I had a place to store my items, I could go back to the shelter, steal all of the riches and the wood from this place. Once I had cleared this place out entirely, I was able to leave and head back to my igloo. I do not want to wake up this polar bear, so I'm just going to sneak right past you there. Thank you very much. Let's just get inside of here quick. Oh, get me in. All right, let's make a door so that polar bear can't just walk inside of our house because that is the last thing I want. Boom, there we go. Now we can start adding some light inside of this place. Look at that. And then we can make some iron armor because we have a lot of iron now. Look at that. Whoo! Now I'm looking strong. Now I had my new armor, it was time to explore. So that's exactly what I did on day seven. On my adventure, I found more rocks that I was able to get stone from, and even found some more old campsites along the way. As the sun started to set on this cold land, I stumbled across a fleet of ships stuck in the ice. As I approached to get a closer look, I was charged by a Vindicator. Once I had taken them out, I was able to climb on board. Okay, I see a few more pillagers in there, but the deck seems clear for now. What's this? Some more food? Nice. This is great. I'm not going to lie. Free food. More fish as well. Okay. Uh, I don't know. What's this? Like a beehive and some melons? I'll take the melons. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I need to run. I need to run. He is doing a lot of damage. Stay away from me. No, I'm all... Okay, no, no. I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to run. I've got to run out of here. These pillagers were tough. Even though I had armor, they were still almost killing me with one swing. So with only one heart left, I had to get out of here. I ran off into the ice maze once again. To take over this boat, I knew I had to come back stronger. When I finally arrived home after traveling all through the night, I started making a ladder beneath the ice down underground. Diamond armor would be one of the only ways I could take on that boat. So it was time to go mining to gather up as many as I could. On this adventure, I found loads of diamonds, and even found some of the ores that can only be found in the Antarctic region, platinum. But after spending a few days below the surface of the ice, I came back up on day 16 and put my diamonds to use. With this new armor, I felt confident enough to check out that frozen ship once again, so I headed over. There's a polar bear again. These, I, I seriously need to watch my back because these things are everywhere. Every time I turn around, there's a new one. And here we are. There's a few pillagers stuck in the snow here. You guys been buried in? I'm just going to kill you. Don't mind me. If I can kill you while you're in here, it's going to make my life so much easier. This is a vindicator as well. This guy's got to go. There we go. Okay, what else are we going to find in this place? Those guys are still in there. How many of you are down there? There's more like two. Oh, okay, he's shooting at me. There's a few of them in there. I can hear them. Okay, four, five. Five of them at least. All right. Well, is there another way we can get down there? Surely somewhere. What's this guy? Is this guy? Oh, it's another peaceful one. Oh, he's not peaceful though. He isn't peaceful. Okay, get me out of here. Oh no. Oh, I'm underneath now. How many of them are here? One, two, three, four. Okay. No, find a room. Find a. Uh, get me in here. Oh, there's another one in here. No, get rid of. Go, 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 go. Oh. Whew. Right. Heal up. I need to barricade this door a little bit. What have we got in here? We... All right. They're trying to get in. Let's block that off. What have we, what have we got in here? How, how many of them? We've got some iron, gold, diamonds as well. Okay. Some shells, emeralds. We've got some fish. I, I, I'm happy with the fish. Okay. I think the coast is clear. Unless one of them just jumps from the roof. Let's close those to make sure that that doesn't happen. I can hear a polar bear outside. What else do we have in here? Nothing. Is this, oh, okay, a little bit of fish there. I'll grab that. 
This, I think I've got everything I need from this place, really. There's not really much more. Oh, actually, let's grab this, uh, let's grab this lectern and the logbook. What's this? Entry 12. Last afternoon, Captain Cornelia went to the seabed in search of any additional resources. There are rumors among the crew that the real subject of our expedition is something else. More than a day has passed since the captain's dive. She was wearing the only diving suit we had, so we couldn't help her in any way. Worst of all, she had the master key. As our hopes of rescued Windle, the threat of rebellion grows. This book uncovered some of the secrets behind the pillagers' expedition and explained why some of the pillagers had branched off and made their own campsites. So as I left this place and was chased away by the polar bears, I arrived home in the night with all of my new information and loot. As I woke up for day 19, I put my fish into the smoker and cooked it up. Due to the lack of food on this continent, fish is one of the only ways for me to stay alive until I come up with a solution for food. As I waited for the food to cook, I placed the logbook inside of an item frame, and once my food was ready, it was time to head back out. That book mentioned that the captain of that ship had gone missing, and now I was going to make it my mission to find her. I spent a few days exploring the glaciers and running from polar bears, until I spotted this structure over the ice. Okay, this place is huge. This is a massive castle. I have no idea who owns this. It looks like pillager owned, but those aren't pillager banners. There's, oh, oh, there's another one of the friendly guys. Oh, he isn't friendly. Okay, I need to take, take care of this guy. Get out of here. There we go. Okay, what do we have up here? I can hear more pillagers. We got crossbow. Okay, some iron, some flint as well, and some arrows. I'll take all of that. Oh, okay, no, there's still more pillagers here. I need to get rid of them. This place was filled with guards, but after taking all of them down, I was able to explore this place properly. All right, there looks like to be a library here. The coast is clear. Oh, oh, okay, right. Let's just take this guy out. Oh, there's another one behind me. Oh, there's too many coming. I need to run, I need to run. Oh, okay, eat up some fish. If we stay on the ladder, we should be able to take these guys out. They were doing a lot of damage. Even with diamond armor, there's so many of them. It's hard to take them out when there's so many. Right, the final one. Oh, no, no, okay, no, there's another one. Hey, watch out, okay. I need to just keep him at some distance. Come on, there we go. Whew. Okay, try again. What's even in here? Some books, some paper, okay. Can use these for an enchantment table eventually, which is nice. What else do we have in here? Some barrels, got some food, some wheat, bread, Okay, uh... Oh, a totem was in there! Oh, no! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I need to run! I need to get out of here quick! Those Vindicators are doing so much damage! I'm gonna have to eat a golden apple! Come on! Oh, he's... Ah! Oh! Okay, okay, I just got it off. Whew. All right, let's take this guy out. On the ice, these are hard. There we go. Okay, there was a totem of undying in there. I need to go back in and get that. Okay, the coast looks clear. All right, yeah, it's in there. Let's just watch it on our back. There it is. Totem of Undying, what can we get rid of? Let's get rid of the bowl. Boom. Ah, oh, okay. Actually, no, we need those books. What else is in here? We got an enchantment table right here. I'll take that. An ender chest, we don't need that. An empty chest. Uh, a bed, I'll take the bed. Not too bad. Whew. I was super happy with everything I got from this place. So on day 22, I left the castle and headed home. When I arrived back, I started making a new room for my enchanting table. I carved out a nearby glacier, placed the enchanting table down, surrounded it by books, and now was able to enchant. The only problem I now had was that I had 24 levels of XP. So I dove back into the mines to try and get myself to level 30 as quick as possible. Whilst I was down here, I grabbed a load of ores, which included iron, coal, diamonds, and even more platinum. Then I returned to the surface with 39 levels and was able to enchant my tools and armor. Once I had enchanted my tools, I went out with my brand new silk touch pickaxe to grab some ice and snow. My igloo was exposed to polar bears and wandering guards without a wall, so I wanted to make my own glacier around my land to keep them out. It needed a lot of ice, so I spent quite some time tearing down a nearby glacier and then headed home to start building. It took me a few days to build it and once it was done, my igloo was safe and hidden. But I was still missing some important blocks like grass and dirt, 
So I headed back to the pillager castle, grabbed some grass, and then headed back home to plant it down in my walls. There are these huge anglerfish right here that are very poisonous that are trying to get to me, but I'm just going to block them off. And there we go. The igloo camp is looking great. With my extra loot from the castle and upgraded armor, I went back out into the ice fields and went towards that pillager fort that I saw on day one. The castle I explored didn't give me any extra information about the location of Captain Cornelia or how these pillagers got here. So now that I had the armor to defend myself, I set out to find some answers. But just as I was about to arrive, a group of bears attacked me. All right, he needs to stay away. He's not slowing down. I need to run. I need to run. There's going to be more of these guys showing up. I can already tell. There's already two. Okay. Dude. Oh, there's more right here as well. I need to eat a golden apple. This could be it. I could die here. Come on. Let me free. There's so many polar bears. Why is there so many? Oh. Right. Okay. I think I may just be able to escape here. Come on. I just got to climb up here. Make the jump. There we go. They can still hit me. Come on. Get up. Whew. Okay. After cheating my way out of death twice, it was finally time to climb aboard this fort. There's more polar bears, but here it is. This is what I've been waiting for, this fort. I saw this on day one. This is, this is the big one. It's just this ladder here. I assume this is the way up. I can hear a pillager. Where was he? Is he up here? Oh, there he is. Take him off. Boom. He's not dead yet. There we go. Who's the pillager now? Me. There's more of them behind this door. There we go. Oh! Oh! He is quick! And he's got two axes. What's going on here? Okay, shut the door. I need to heal up a little bit. What is in here then? We just got a bunch of food. I'll take it. You know, more fins. Esker, some more fish. Oh! Okay. Right. Let's just grab these pieces of fish here. There was wheat, pumpkins, potatoes. Okay. I'm grabbing all of this. Aha, another, another book. What's in this one? Entry 34. The beasts from the depths prowl for someone to devour. One of those critters has already eaten our midshipman, swallowed him whole, along with his crossbow. We are waiting in vain for rescue. No one will come to help us. We have to survive on our own. Today, the construction of the fort from parts of the ship were completed, and in any case, she could no longer plow the seas ever again. We've hidden our supplies and valuable cargo underground. Hopefully, the guards will be able to survive. It's getting tough here. This book was the next part of the puzzle that I was looking for, explaining more about what happened here and why these pillagers were stuck in the middle of the Antarctic. I carried on scanning the fort and came across the riches room that was filled with some melted platinum, exactly what I needed since I couldn't melt it down on my own yet. As I left this place, I checked the hut at the bottom and saw a ladder down underneath the ice. With a full inventory and no idea what was down there, I just decided to head home. When I arrived back, I saw a few vindicators inside of my land that had been snooping around whilst I was gone, so I made sure to take care of those. After sleeping, I dropped off all of my new loot and put the newly found logbook into a frame. More of this story was being unveiled as I explored the world. So as I cooked up some more food, I had another read of the logbook. And it did mention about the pillagers hiding their loot underground. Now unsure if this was referring to the shelter I looted on day two, or the hut beneath the fort, I wanted to go and check that ladder. But as I was busy reading the book, another troop of pillagers arrived at my camp, so I had to defend my land. Where are you guys even coming from? Oh, you did a lot of damage. Wow, okay. I've taken out most of the places that these pillagers are coming from. Look, this is a guy like... It's like a troop leader. I've taken out all the main places, and more of these guys still keep showing up, and look at how much damage they're doing. It's nearly killing me. Once they were down, I set off back towards the fort. Is he coming for me? Do I want to... Let's just take care of him. I don't want to just deal with more polar bears on the way there, so... May as well take care of him before he starts chasing me without me realizing... He's not doing a lot of damage. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so the hut is here. And the ladder just goes directly down. But what down? what is down there? I, I have no idea. Oh, that's like... Whoa, that's a weird looking guard. That's like a wither skeleton in... What armor is that? I don't even know. What did he drop? He dropped... Is that a hammer? That looks like a hammer and some platinum as well. Oh, a splitter. Oh, oh! One of his friends are here. Oh, God. 
How many of them are here? I need to run. I need to run quick. Oh, I, I can leap to the middle here. Let's go. <gasps> no! He's a golden apple. Oh, no. Quick. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, no. Oh, I've got fire resistance to the lava. Okay. Get me to the edge of this lava right now. Eat some food. What just happened? That was so close to being the end of it. There's another one right here. Is this the last one? Let's just take care of this guy. These guys were doing so much damage. Look at look how strong they are. Okay, what is this? Copper? What's this? Platinum? A block of platinum. And there's three blocks of it right here. There's a chest up here. Some more platinum? Okay, bones, an iron sword. Uh, another hammer as well. Some diamonds. This place was so deadly, costing me my first totem of undying. But I was rewarded with so much valuable loot after taking down the guards. I now had enough platinum for armor, and even got myself a platinum hammer that allows me to mine in a radius of blocks. Alright, you guys just let me get out of here, please. There's so many- I, I seriously need to figure out where these guys are coming from. Finally. Home at last. Day 48 was the day that I upgraded once again. I took all of the platinum gained from these locations and forged myself a brand new armor set. This paladin armor protected me so much more than the diamond armor, and even gave me benefits like extra health. But once again, I was short on XP, so I took my brand new splitter hammer into the mines to grab as much XP as possible to enchant all of this armor. Unfortunately, this hammer didn't last very long grabbing yours down here. So I had to resort to my Silk Touch pickaxe, and after mining for a few days, I returned home to gather all of the XP from these ores with a non-Silk Touch pickaxe. After enchanting each piece, I was covered in Protection 3 and 4. These Vindicators didn't stand a chance anymore. But they did keep showing up here, so instead of just building my wall higher and hiding from these guys, I decided to spend some time chopping down some trees, and then started working on a watchtower so that I could look out to see where they were coming from. I really like how this turned out, it gave me a great view over the surrounding areas. And after I had chopped down a lot of those trees, I had a bunch of remaining saplings that I could plant all around the walls to bring this area to life a bit more. With the community starting to be built here, I wanted to make a village with some igloos so that I could increase the villager population and help them take back this continent. So I headed over towards the ship I took over earlier in this adventure to free the villagers from the cages because they were the only villagers that I knew existed in this world at the time. So if we just go down here, the villagers should still be in these cages and yes they are. So if we put the traps down right here, let's just get rid of this barrel. If I break these, they should run out and then straight away get in the trap. Boom. Perfect. That is exactly what we wanted. With these guys trapped, I could head home. But on the way back, I went the wrong way by accident and got a little bit lost for a few days and ended up finding something insane. I found an ice mansion. This place was huge and was surrounded by guards. I was not ready to take this on, so I stuck to my plan for today and ran home. This mansion was home to the horn that alerts and summons Captain Cornelia, so if I wanted to take this place on, I'd have to come back more prepared. When I arrived home, I got straight to building the igloos for these villagers. I went for a similar design to my igloo and made two of them. Once they were built, all I needed to do was add the interiors and then get the villagers in place. Now I could breed them and trade with them if I wanted. After planting a few more trees around the back, I added some paths from the igloos to the front door and then finally built up the rest of the wall around the glaciers to prevent any more pillagers from getting inside my land. I had built my own Antarctic village and these villagers were now an easy way to get XP, even if I decided to waste it all on enchanted books. On the morning of day 71, I left the igloo and ventured out into the ice plains once again to track down the mansion and try and see what was going on there. Now I was prepared. I ran for a while watching out for polar bears and keeping an eye on my back, and eventually I spotted the mansion just over the top of one of the glaciers. As I approached, it seemed I had timed it perfectly. Only one guard was on duty. It looked like an easy attack, so I made my move. Oh! Okay, a lot more of these guys are coming out now. Oh, oh yeah, there was a lot more than I was expecting here. I thought there was only one guy on guard and now the whole team's here. 
There were more guards than I expected, and now I had a war on my hands. Let's just take these out one at a time. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, is that all of them? This place is massive. There's going to be so many. I can see some Vindicators. If I can take care of these guys from range, then it's going to make this so much easier. Okay, yeah, no, there's so many here. This is, this is going to be tough. Look at, look at that. That is the whole army. How am I supposed to kill these? I need to run. What's this? Another hammer and a splitting table. Okay, I will... What's this? A rune of the storm. All right, let's grab the table and the hammer as well. That's great. Free stuff. Love it. What's in this chest? Nothing. It's like a prison. Oh, there's a lot of villagers in here. They've straight up locked the prison. They've, they've, they've locked the villagers up. This place is completely locked off. Okay, I'm going to have to free those guys as soon as I've taken all of these out. What's through here? This is boarded off as well. These are some more guards, though. I need to take care of these. Okay. Right, I just need to watch my back. I need to keep reminding myself. Watch my back. I can take these guys out easily, though, with the fences here. And there's some platinum blocks right there, which is nice. Some armor in here. What's this? Terrible armor. Enemy attacking you is poisoned for five seconds. That could be helpful. I'll keep that one for later. Got some boots here as well. As I escaped from the left wing of the mansion, I spotted the pillagers gathering up on the other side. But I had what I needed, the horn to summon Captain Cornelia. So I ran to the closest body of water I could find and blew the horn. It says if I blow the horn here, she will spawn. <gasps> there she is! This is it! Okay, she's floating in the sky. She dropped that- okay, no, she's teleported right in front of me. Okay, I'm doing big damage already. She was back. The ghost of Captain Cornelia had been summoned, and now it was my turn to take her down. Whoa! Okay, she spawned guards in. Some underwater... What are they? They're like... Okay, they're throwing tridents at me. They're doing quite a lot of damage here. She has taken a huge amount of health, though. She's, she's nearly dead. I just need to get a few more hits in. I'm going to eat a golden apple. She's so close to dying now. Here we go. This is it. Boom. She was down. After a tough battle, the captain was killed, and now this mansion had been put under my command. As she died, the pillagers all escaped back into the glaciers to avoid death. And now I had the entire mansion to myself. I had no idea where they ran to, but now it wasn't my problem. I had new armor, a new weapon that allowed me to launch myself forward, and the frozen key to unlock the chest filled with the captain's loot. Now I could head home in victory. Once I arrived home, I dropped off all of my loot and went straight towards the shelter with the frozen chest. This key unlocks the treasure, so I went straight for the entrance and got inside. Just through here... Which was it? This way? Yeah, we're gonna have to break back through. Let's get through here. Here they are, here's the pillagers. Okay, wait, what? Where's the chest gone? The chest was gone. These guards were here for no reason. I had no idea where the chest had gone, but clearly, they had moved it and put guards in its place instead. So until I found this chest, the frozen key would have to stay safe in my igloo. And after all the battles I had entered over the last 80 days, my armor was destroyed. And I had this new set that was just being wasted with full durability. So it was time to swap out my form of protection and cover myself with the new, terrible armor. As usual, I wanted to enchant this armor. And since I never have enough XP, I needed to chop down some trees and do some trading. So that's exactly what I did. Once I had all the levels I needed from trading, I enchanted my armor with the highest level possible. Now that I was back at my strongest in an armor set that provided new benefits to the last, I started on a new task that would make life a bit easier around here. Since I now own a mansion, I wanted to make a path from my camp to the mansion that would make traveling back and forth quicker and easier. I chose to carve my way through the ice and decided to lay down a wooden path the whole way. This took a lot longer than expected, but I was still able to get it done, meaning that I now had a path all the way from my camp leading to the mansion doors. When I arrived home after a long few days of work, I was greeted by some penguins that decided they wanted to live in my camp. As much as I wanted to spend more time with them, I couldn't, because I wanted to grab the ice key and try and track down the frozen chest before this 100 day adventure was finished. I decided first to check the mansion. When clearing it out, I wasn't looking for the frozen chest, so it could have easily gone unnoticed in here. 
I am gonna have to check every single room. What about this one here? This chest is empty. I don't see a frozen chest in here though. So I guess on to the next. As I was searching, I looked out of one of the windows of the mansion and realized that a brand new pillager shelter had been built right outside. Was that there the other week? I don't think it was. I've definitely not been in here because the gate is not open. What is going on down here then? Okay, there's another storage room. There's a load of vindicators in here, so I'm going to need to be careful. Let's just shut that gate. We'll just swing at them through here. They're not going to be able to hit us. We'll be able to kill them super easily. Oh, never mind. Nope, they can't hit us. Okay, let's make sure we got a way out of here in case they somehow break through this trap door. And there we go. Is that the last one? I think so. I can hear another. Is the ice chest there? Oh, is that any Volker? Let's break the ice. Shoot quick. Come on, here we go. Let's get this thing dead before it spawns a load of vexes. Come on. Oh! Oh, it duplicated. Let's kill it. Wait, there's like three of them. One of them's suffocating. Let's... Come on, let's kill this thing, quick. I can hear another. Where is it? Oh! Oh, okay. Now it's dead. Okay, right. There it is, the chest. This is what I've been after. Finally, after a long hunt, the chest had been located and I could use my key and unlock this thing. Inside, it was full of the pillager's loot. Totems, luminescent bubbles, gold and emeralds. This was perfect. The shelter had been cleared of the pillagers, which meant now as far as the logbooks mentioned, this continent had been restored. And now I was able to head into the mansion once again and free the villagers from their prison. Now they could take back their mansion and grow their population back to the way it once was to do the research they came here for in the first place. Once that was complete, on day 100, I walked out onto the front balcony of this mansion that was now under my reign. Over the past 100 days, I had faced some of the hardest mobs of this continent and defeated an army of pillagers that came here to rule. Now, it was time for me to rest. <laughs>